couldn't be much better than this. Here is Lake Nakuru on the map. Curio champ over there. These are the Bachels. Virtual zebra. And then we swing around here. And there's some buffalo. Oh my gosh, look at that. White rhino. First Thompson's gazelles here. You're looking at Euphorbia Candelabra Forest over there. These are huge trees actually. But That noise you hear is not an airplane. It's these like the lesser flamingos. Great white pelicans over there. They make the flamingos look like midgets, don't they? Amazing how large those are. Something good? Flamingos. Flamingos, yeah. Less of flamingo. That's okay. Those are the greater flamingos there. Flamingos are now coming into the little stream to watch the salt on. They make this amazing noise. Honk, honk, honk. And then come as close as they can. Those great white pelicans. coat of mud. Oh, that mud feels good. Look at him. He's ready. <laughs> He's ready for his day. Ready for a day. Look at him look at us. Black backed or the silver backed jackal. It's a red wing one. Secretary bird nest here. Huh, look at the feathers. Are those the mom's feathers or the baby feathers? It's mom's feathers. Mom's. Child. 
The thorns of the acacia don't bother them. No, I don't because uh, the giraffes have that tongue. You know, if oh, you yeah. first, it was more like rough. What sometimes they say is a hairy tongue. There's a sign, huh? Queen leads the way. <laughs> Queen leads the way, for sure. If he wants to do it, he's not going to do it with all these people around. Well, they will. They will? Lions never get scared of them. It's over here. Just enjoying the cool of the morning. The mountain wagtail down there. Let's see who's this guy calling me. Why does this big guy just sit down? It's a good ride, isn't it? Isn't that cute? Biggest one is the male. Yeah. He has a little different, like a bigger nose. Yeah, bigger nose on the cheeks over the face. The face is much more broader. Right. And so that's a female picking yeah. his fleas? Actually, what happens again, that would be a way of coating as well. Uh huh. Female. What's it called? Arrow marked babbler. White brown robin chat. Tropical Bobo. Amateur Sunbird. 68, The light is on as, uh, from 12.30 until about 2.30. There's our first spotted hyena. Except for oh. that last one. There it goes. Five rhinos, white rhinos. And this is be the first president's pavilion. He used to come down here over the weekend just to have to enjoy the beauty of and the nature around here. Jump Where Mr. Kenyatta had a place. Then on to the Lake Navasha. Yeah. Barking on a boat trip in Lake Navasha. Here we go. Great cormorant and a long tailed cormorant to the left. What a difference in size. Yeah. What's that shorebird there? African skimmer. African skimmers and a yellow billed duck. Gray heron. Great egret. And the big guy. Goliath heron. Huge. Yeah, I'm going to go to the 
two yellow bill storks over there. Hot and tight teals there under the papyrus. This is Grafus and his wife Selena and Lena. Can we get a smell, a smile? Oh, she will. She's such a big baby. Young mountains. Grafus has bought Diet Coke for us. Here's a wildebeest. Also known as White Bearded. And here is the fabulous Maasai Mara. Point belly bustard. On the Mara. Ostriches. Maasai ostriches. Amazing. Keep them, they group them all the time, they're running. Now these are the chicks. Here's Back Papa one. and the other mom. So this is a family group. This is David, the ranger, pointing at the hippo who's right down here. It's a male who's been intimidated by another male. Then, that's my shadow, as you might imagine. And there is our tent, so this hippo is sort of a pet. We heard him all night. You can see this guy got the worst of the way. You see the blood? He got bit by the other male, and now he's, he's not feeling too good. This is the marsh in front of our tent where the hippo is. Nice gazebo, famous author. Crown cranes. Woodland kingfisher, malachite kingfisher, sacred abbots, northern black flycatcher, golden tail woodpecker. There's a male, definitely the There's a very shy green pigeon. African green pigeon. African green pigeon. So yeah. It's moving around. The gray headed bush shrike. He's big, huh? Oh, he's big. He's the biggest of the bush shrikes. What kind of monkey? Psych, psych. That's psych like a monkey. monkey. It's got a funny little Chips. thing on its head. Yes. Like a hairband made of hair. This is the way we came over. Pretty nice, huh? The blue flycatcher at the nest feeding young. Okay. 
There's the other one. Saddle bill stork flying with the vultures. In a very unique color. Mm -hmm. Two brown parrots. Mama warthogs. Rocco Heron, mm -hmm. African Chicana. Sometimes we call them the water lily trotter. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those feet. Here, next to the car, is a Battalure Eagle. Up close and personal. Got him on the ground. Psh, psh. Too fast, eh? I call no. him ladies. The waddle oh. clover. Oh. Black headed weavers at the nest. Man, acacia, amazing. Black bellied bustard. Is that his nest? There's a nest there. It's the largest pride we ever see this size. What is that? Buffalo? It's a buffalo peckers. That these pride killed. He, he wants some. Drink. <laughs> Look at it. Oh yes, like oh I'm hot enough. Trying to imagine how the clothes look like after <laughs> food. This is the other pride of lions that we saw, and this guy over here was adopted. It's a male, a young male, but he was adopted by this pride. He's an orphan. 
And there's mom. And hooded vultures waiting for their piece of the action. Another guy wants in on the act. Silverback Jack. This is our cabin at night. Especially as you can see, it's taking a shower. That is a wonderful shower. So soft water and everything. Good. We have these propane or lamps, and you can see this is a fully equipped bathroom. Not too bad. Got all the conveniences at home. Morning in the Mara. Winding Sister Cola wishing us good morning. <laughs> Waiting for a fish. Elans. The largest and the actually big males of bulls weigh about a thousand kilos. That's one ton. That's the bull right there. The big guy. Initially they're being farmed down South Africa for the good meat. And also you're told out of the milk the butter content actually is much more richer in it than the cow. So they're trying to find them in South Africa. I heard of Thompson Gazelles. Secretary Bird in flight. African silver bird. African silver bird. Jumbo! They went to church? This afternoon, uh, Trish and I are riding with Charlie, looking toward where the Serengeti Plains are down through there. You just see how vast these plains are. Here is a male with a big rack of horns. There's uh, a newly born one. Yeah. Even the legs are not very okay. yeah, probably just born. When do you think he was born? About four hours ago. Yeah. Really? In one hour they get up. And Newborn. That seemed like a bath to you, but it's paradise to that guy. Oh my 
gray and white stars. I think these guys are looking at. How old do you think these cubs are? These are about 10, 11 months old. Okay, hello. Oh, oh. <laughs> she ate too much. What are they next door to here? She gets in that RV. From the Mara, we drove back through Nairobi and on to Amboseli National Park. Here ahead of the snows of Kilimanjaro. About over an hour and a half from here. And it went through over in Tanzania. About 15,000 foot mountain. Namanga. <laughs> Kenya Tanzania border. Um, Kenyan. Tanzania border and the entryway to Amboseli Park. Right over there is Tanzania. Tanzania is right over. This is the gate to Amboseli National Park. Okay. All right. Can you move away? Me? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, This is dry lake Amboseli. This will all be wet during the wet season. There's a whole lot of dust devils on this thing. Awesome dust devil over there. This is zebra. And wildebeest. Common zebra. Going to the marsh. I know wildebeest thinks he's a zebra. <laughs> Two banded courser. This is what they're looking at. <laughs> and what do you think that might be? See your ear? Here she comes, Ray. Who is that? There yeah, she is. The queen of the beast. And this is why she is in the reeds. These wildebeest came down to check out what was going on and found out. <laughs> and there they go. How much did you say that, that, that the elephants consume a day? 200 kilos a day. Wow. One leg? Mm hmm. It's a long toed clubber. See those old big old feet? Where's the other leg? Just up in its body? <laughs> oh, there I can see the toes. Yeah, he's got it tucked up. There goes old Grandpa Wildebeest. <laughs> Oh, there's the sun coming up. 
just beginning to light up the mountain. There goes part of that zebra. That lion is killed yesterday. And there's the pack. These guys are, look at those bellies. My oh, gosh. There's a purple mountain. Oh, yeah, look at that. Trust. Oh, wow. What do you think that wildebeest is interested in? He's, I'd be getting the heck out of there. Yeah. He knows the lioness is full. That lioness looks very full. Probably f the same animal we saw last night with the zebra. Take a rest. <laughs> Spotted thick knee. Yeah. That is a big bird. Southern ground hornbill. Dung beetles, eggs, seeds, worms are part of the food. The Vonda Dickens. Hornville nest over there. There's a male on the left and a female on the right. This is right from my the veranda of our tent when they're actually incubating eggs. The female is mudded inside the cavity and does not come out during the whole incubation. Uh, period and the male brings her food. I think that's the nest to be right there. The male's checking it out to see that it's okay. He said, honey, come look at this place that I found for you. I think you're gonna love it. I don't know if I want to spend a month in this damn hole, but honey, I put down a down payment. <laughs> trying to expand it and hear those black white necked uh, weaver nests over there there's a bird in the right hand nest there went out I see him He went in the nest. Mmm. Got a meal. I don't know if this is love or war. This is the dining room. It's the bar over there. Tortillas. Kilimanjaro in the background. Under the clouds now. That apple pie there was delicious. But, but look at this. Porcupine quilt, ostrich eggs, and this is the feathers from the guinea hen. Lovely mural. It's a long tail fiscal.
This is a banded snake eagle. And there's a great animal, the cheetah. Fastest land mammal. He's just checking things out. Second cheetah. Oh heavens, what a sight. So the delay was a blessing, huh? Uh-huh, definitely. <laughs> See, everything turns out fine. There's a cheetah cub. Yeah, there are more. Mama, mama to the right, and the, and the young one's running away. There's, there's mama. So the young ones, we got on. She was very busy training them. Heaviest bird on wing. Oh, wow. There's, there is the partner Cory Busted across the road. I'm going to see if we can get closer to that Cory Busted. Down the hill also you have a large opening that is what appear like a cave. So the traditional people believe usually because of the concrete and the floor of the lava, there was some noise that was produced from that particular ground. It is a hollow ground. They could be like whistling people that they never saw. And because of the problem, what you call the calamity that people experience here, they thought there's a big devil that is speaking from the mountain. And then they named this place the Shetani Lava. So the devil sits over those rocks there, high up, and becomes the Shetani Lava. We have now left uh, Kilimanjaro, but it is behind those clouds. It, we've been heading east all morning. From Amboseli, we drove around Mount Kilimanjaro to Savo West. It's a pair of grey hornbills. There's the male. Because it has the ocean salty, so we need fresh water. It comes from the Mzima Springs here. Beautiful clear water here.
This is for Paris down here below me. So clear. Oh, there I can see the fish. Those are tilapia. Is something you call it the blue cards as well? It's acacia flowers and the bits of hippo dung floating there. African darter. Which they call it snake bird here as well. And that's the giant kingfisher. That guy's big. He is big. Oh, nice. And there's the snake bird at work. A little lunch here. Wow, look at all the birds. See me. See the way they are consolidated together by the adults and they always move together. So it's not easy for a predator to grab one. Uh. You can see the feathers. The mother is supposed to be all brown. Ah. There was daddy who was black somewhere. So the how to that. that's an aggressive posture. You see? There's Papa. That's what Papa will do. If oh, he's uh, beautiful. If an aggressor charges, Papa, charges, Papa will do the same. Oh wow. You know they weigh about 130. The male ostrich in breeding. Soaking up the sun. <laughs> I'm going to go take a shower in my <laughs> cabin number one at Fitch Haddon's. This is the view from our tent cabin. Savo West. This is the pool. The Sykes monkey over there. That's the Sykes monkey calling. They're in the monkey family. Nocturnal the African crowned eagle. Actually, they have the same wingspan like the martial eagle, but usually they have a longer tail feather. African crowned eagle. Mm, look at that eye. And look at that crown. Great. Brown parrot. There's the great baobab tree. How old do you think that tree is, Griffiths? This tree should be well over 200 years old. Donut Babbitt. Beautiful. Amazing. Fiscal city over there. Long tail fiscal. Long tail fiscal zone. Beautiful set. Oh my gosh, they are gorgeous. Lots of business. Some new mammal for us. Jackson's heart of East. Or Congoni. Or Congoni, huh? Yeah. 
We all have points. Men and females have points. Okay. And the young lappet face with sort of lightish, dark red necks. Mm -hmm. The young ones. It's, that is a real African sight right there. Oh, yes. Tony Eagle. Two pygmy falcons together, aren't they? So, oh, yeah, so nice. sweet. That's the male, is it? Printing the female. Oh, look at that again. It's great. Good friends. I'd say more than friends. If I don't get it out of the bird, I get it out of grapes. Sound effects, that is. Eastern failed chanting gospel. There's the old go away bird. Rested roar just swallowed a grasshopper. This is Emma, the female crown eagle, which is brought in to be a mate with Stephen, the male we saw yesterday. Hello, Emma. This bird is capable of taking a young animal or a monkey. What do you think he's worried about? How could I just warning us? Oh my goodness, look. A big, 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 big truck. There's a standoff if ever there was one. The guy has to open up the mount so that the birds can pack off those and maybe meat. And then to Savo East. This is the Galdesa King. Galdesa. 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 This is our cabin at Galdessa Camp. And is it ever elegant. Right in front of our tent cabin here is the Galana River, which comes all the way from the Mount Kenya region and empties into the Indian Ocean at Malindi, which is our next and final stop. And that quiet lady sitting over there is none other than Trish Johnson. I'm on my sixth book. This is Charles who takes care of us and Trish is over there looking at the big skull. Yeah, and then right across the river is a pet elephant. Who's, who's a wild resident named Tusker, and he is likely to end up in our front yard this evening. So we have to be a little careful.
They just eat vegetation. They just they just the chop people in two for the hell of it. <laughs> Eating some grass, Ed. There he is. <laughs> That's nice to... Hello, beautiful. Aww. Isn't he amazing? He's got a duck tail. He can open it up too, Trish. Uh huh. Make a big crown. Yeah. Stretch your stuff, Hoopoo. Lesser Kudu, a very, very shy African antelope. Hard to see. You should stay in the rocky places. Red and yellow bobbins. Now this has more reddish and yellowish than the donuts. Yeah. What is that? Sticking his head out there. Termite man. By golly, it's a dragon. Or better known here as a monitor lizard. Oh, it's a big, big baby. Both crested mustard here. So, Grepus, that's a hammockop's nest, huh? Yes, it is a hammercorp's nest. And how long has it taken to build it? Well, over a year. Wow. And probably that's why he's called the king bird. The hammercorp. That is a paradise water. I didn't mix it up. Now you see, I'm mixing it now. This like, is Weaver City here. Remember the other day I was telling me it is the white crowned night herald. When it's supposed to be black. Well, I don't want them to come after us. No, they won't. Okay. So long as we stop and they're quiet. Now, as a family, as long as they're moving together, okay. it's no big problem. That's what she wanted. There's a chain of command. All of them will cross and take go. And the young ones, you see, they are seriously kept in the middle. They're protecting them, yeah, that's really neat. Look at all the babies, my gosh. Are they all across now? Yeah. From Savo East, we drove down the coast around Mombasa and to Malindi, our final destination. We're just pulling into Malindi. We're down now on the coast, and this is yeah. the Mombasa Road. There. Grounds at the Hemingway Hotel. Right here on the Indian Ocean.
This is Abraham's boat. And over on the left is Mohammed. This is the entrance to Mita Creek, a big estuary that we're going to go into. This is the main 18th century plot. So, most Arabic down. Just doing the fishing. Oh. Oh. I got bigger, bigger, you need to go. Some crab flower in there. That's all that you need. You don't want to let go again. And that's what you know I know. Here's a spoon bill and a sacred abyss. Black Prince of Dimorphic. Yeah, that's what I'm if you're fine, that's a little easy. This is a fish trap. The dugout uh, canoe there that these folks make and use to fish. That's the mouth of the creek out there. We're heading home now. We're in the Arabuco Sakoke forest with Alex, a local wildlife guide. I've been looking at the, some of these unique forest birds. What is that, Alex? That's a red helmet shrike. Thank you. This is a group of safari ants on a safari. And out front is Toilita. the leader, like Griffiths. <laughs> Crown hornbill over there. Turn around. There we go. There we go. Christ. We're way back in the forest now. So we're going back into the forest now to look for the Sakoki Scops Owl. It, it only exists here. I mean, we're really in this forest now. Oh my goodness. Oh, what a little beauty. Beautiful place. <laughs> what a beauty. It's one of the rarest birds in the world right there. Yeah. See you later. All right. See you. Good. Bye. <laughs> Thanks a lot. All right.